What's up guys? Welcome back to the Dapper Side. Today we're going to discuss a topic that we haven't really covered on this channel yet, but it's very interesting and useful information. Now we've covered the basic shoes that every guy should have, the colors, you know, your blacks, your browns, possibly a cap toe, or maybe even a wingtip. But when you have your basic rotation, you want to kind of step out of your comfort zone and maybe try something unique and bold that's really going to complement your overall wardrobe as well as your overall shoe collection. Now here at the Dapper Side, we're always gonna recommend that you get your primary shoes out of the way. If you're wearing dress shoes a lot, you really wanna have nice dress shoes, and if you don't really have any dress shoes or looking for your first pair, then a unique and bold shoe might not be the right choice for you. If you do have all of your dress shoes out of the way, or you have your basic rotation and you wanna to upgrade to something to really kind of change your style around a little bit, there's a couple of options. Now there's a lot of unique shoes out there, but the ones that we're gonna be showing you today is gonna to be a suede shoe Shoe, a mixed media shoe, and of course, the spectator. Now, starting off with suede, it can easily be recognized by its soft surface and napped finish. It's a very nice type of shoe that's usually recognized as elegant, and the pliability of it also makes it a little bit easier to break in. Uh, it does involve an extra level of maintenance. So let's talk about what suede is. It's the underbelly of the leather coming from the animal. The highest quality of leather that you can have is of course full grain. After that, you're gonna have top grain, which is the middle layer, and then and you're gonna have a layer underneath it. And that's what the suede is really made of. It's called the split. Now with suede's, in terms of maintaining a shoe like this, you really want to use a spray waterproofer because the nap finish is going to get very ugly after a short amount of time. We've shown you a couple of options here. You could go with something like a brown that's going to be versatile, possibly year round, but especially more in the fall and winter months. You could go with something like a lighter color. You know, it's going to be good for those spring and summer months. And then of course, you could really go out there if you need it for a specific function and go with something like a red. Now suede in general, it's a very unique look. It's easily recognizable and it's definitely a unique shoe you could consider for your rotation. So next up with our distinct shoes, we're gonna go over the mixed media shoe. Now a mixed media shoe can easily be recognized by the two different materials on it. It's gonna be a combination of two different materials, one of them primarily being leather, but the other one you could have an item like suede, you maybe have Harris Tweed on there, some people even do animals, you can see like a leather and shark, or leather and alligator, there's so many different combinations, which is what truly makes this a very, very unique shoe. Now the ones we have here today, just to kind of give you an example, is we have something like a wingtip. It's gonna be, this one in particular, is gonna be a linen and a leather. You can see they contrast and complement each other very nicely. This particular one is a gorgeous pair of suede and leather. You can see the burgundy suede really complements the uppers on the shoe. Styles like these are the more common ones, but then you can go into something unique like this, which is gonna be two different types of leather. You have your regular leather and you have your woven leather as well. It's a really classy look on a shoes. Again, something you may not see very often, but with mixed media, there's really so many combinations. You're gonna to see tons of them and it's a deep dive if you're ever looking for one. Now, these types of styles are really more worn in casual occasions because it's gonna add a lot of versatility to your wardrobe, but if you have a very specific type of suit or possibly a certain pattern or color, these can easily be dressed up as well. If you have a really sharp linen suit, maybe something like the Linen Spectator might be a possibility for you. If you have like a really sharp like burgundy type of suit or something in a three piece or multiple patterns, maybe something with a suede and leather or possibly even the woven are really gonna complement those looks as well. Now let's take a break from our regularly scheduled programming to show you something really interesting. If we've piqued your interest in unique shoes and you have a rotation and you want to try and get a pair for yourself, we definitely recommend checking out Allen Edmonds. They're running a limited event right now where they're offering a spectator, which is a two-tone shoe, and they're offering it in a number of colorways. There's 12 total colors. There's 20 that are spectators with the two-tone on them, and then you can go with nine possible solid colors. You can also customize the sole on them, which makes it even more unique. Now it's gonna be an Oxford and a dress sneaker. They're gonna be the categories that you have to choose from. You could go with the sneaker category. You can see this is a red and white version. This is suede. The event that they're offering is actually gonna be all leather, but it's gonna be a, a dress sneaker with no heel. It's gonna have a cup sole on it, 
and the cup sole is customizable and like I said you have a number of options for which colorways you want to do. Now if this is a little bit too casual for you and you want to step it up a little bit the other is going to be the Strand Muck. It's the dressier Oxford with a heel it's going to have the day night sole on it and again you're going to have many different colors and possibilities to choose from. Now, if you're a fan of a sports team, if you want to support your college, possibly your high school, any sort of affiliation that needs a color, just something really out of the ordinary, this is probably the perfect event for you. Now, Allen Edmonds, they're an American-made shoe brand based out of Port Washington. This is actually their 100th year that they've been around, so this is something really special that they're offering. We definitely recommend checking it out. Now, personally, I'm not a Steelers fan, I'm a Broncos fan, but I definitely recommend the black and gold colorway. Now there's a lot of other options, but feel free to check it out, it is definitely worth seeing. Now let's go ahead and get you back to your regularly scheduled program. Now saving the classiest of these three unique styles, we have the iconic spectator shoe. A spectator is just a really elegant, unique style it can really, really upgrade the quality of your outfit. Spectators were first designed in 1868 by the world famous John Lobb when he was commissioned to design a cricket shoe. They didn't really explode in popularity until the roaring 20s when you saw people from all over the world really start to wear these with suits and the look was just something no one had saw and it really became very popular. Now in general, a spectator is designated as a shoe that's two different colors. Now primarily you're going to have white as the base and another color, but with a spectator there's so many options. You can do any two colors and it's going to be considered a spectator. Also with a spectator in general, the most common one you're going to see is going to be on a wingtip style such as this, but nowadays you see two-tone shoes in all different types of styles. A spectator is just something you have to have in your collection if you really have a large shoe rotation, or again, if you really need it for that certain outfit and you really want everything to pop, a spectator is a must-have. Now, as we've shown you, a unique shoe is something that might not be for everybody, but if you're a shoe enthusiast and you want to have something that's really out there, or if you really want to make a statement with a certain outfit, these are the perfect option for you. We've shown you your suede options, we've shown you your two-tone options, we've shown you the iconic spectator. There's a number of colors and possibilities. Now, in general, if you're going to go with a shoe like this, you really should go with a higher-end brand, because if you're using a lower quality brand and you're trying to do one of these styles, it's not really going to look that good and a true shoe enthusiast is going to know that immediately once seeing it on your foot. These are styles that are again not something for everyone but if you like these you should definitely look into them as they really are for every single shoe enthusiast. Thanks for tuning back into the Dapper Side guys. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like and let us know what you think. What's your opinion on these unique styles of shoes? What are some colorways, possibly some other unique styles that you would recommend? Maybe some you've personally tried out, or maybe even a brand that you would recommend. We're all shoe enthusiasts here, we're all fashion enthusiasts, and we're just trying to find the right colors and combinations to really step up our overall fashion game. Now, we're on the road to more subscribers. We said before that we're raffling off a bag once we hit a thousand. We're still trying to get there, and once we do get to that 1K mark, we will be raffling off a nice quality leather bag. Thanks for tuning in, and remember guys, stay dapper.